Top Biz. Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. My name is Ganesh Naya and this video is about EPR post compliance for plastic waste. Let us know more about plastic waste and its management in India. Every day, India generates enormous amounts of plastic waste. These plastic wastes need to be dealt with properly else it can have a negative impact on the environment. The indiscriminate disposal of plastic waste has caused a huge crisis. Therefore, to avert such crisis, the government has introduced the Plastic Waste Management and Handling Regulations in 2011. In line with this, the government has also introduced the Plastic Waste Management Regulations for 2016. The Plastic Waste Management significance can never be undermined. The waste generated by manufacturers and the consumers requires urgent disposal and recycling to avoid major health hazards. So what are Plastic Waste Management Rules? The Plastic Waste Management Rules were notified in March 2016. These rules apply to the manufacture, distribution, sale, and use of carry bags, plastic sheets, and multi-layered packaging. For the first time, the responsibility of waste generators was described in these rules. Individual and bulk waste generators such as offices, commercial establishments, industries are required to segregate plastic waste at source. Then they are supposed to hand over the segregated waste and pay the user a fee according to the bylaws of the local bodies. The concept of EPR was introduced under the Plastic Waste Management Rules 2016, where the onus was put on the manufacturers for the treatment, reuse, recycling or disposal of products after the consumer had used them and disposed of. What is EPR? Extender Producers Responsibility is a policy wherein the producers take the responsibility for the disposal of products that are deemed unfit for consumption. It is based on the International Environmental Law Principle which states that polluter pays. This implies that the one who pollutes the environment should pay to keep the environment clean. EPR transfers the economic liability of the value of the disposal from government to the manufacturer. What is plastic EPR? As per the plastic waste management rules, producers, importers, brand owners who launch their products in the market have the extended producer's responsibility to manage plastic waste generated by the plastic packaging of their products. They should collaborate with the local government to form a strategy to manage plastic waste generated by their products. What are the responsibilities of producers? They need to draft an action plan for EPR, submit it to the Central Pollution Control Board or SPCB. The plan will include the type and quantities of plastic waste. Further, it should also include pre-consumer and post-consumer generated waste, which is segregated zone-wise. The manner of collection, processing of plastic waste, the details of strategic partners and supporting documents must be submitted. When the EPR plan is approved by the Central Pollution Control Board, the producers will be responsible for collection, recycling, processing, logistics and disposal of plastic waste in the manner and quantity specified in EPR plan approved by the CPCV. They can perform such activities through their own channels or can partner with municipalities, local bodies or through any other channel which can ensure traceability of waste. They are required to maintain records of every activities for quarterly and periodic filings. The EPR post compliance can be divided into two categories. Half yearly report submission. The producers, importers, brand owners need to submit the half yearly progress on plastic waste management for every state or union territory in its EPR action plan to the concerned pollution board. Further, the producers, importers and brand owners should provide documentary proof from respective processing facilities to demonstrate that the quality and the type of plastic waste according to the EPR target has been treated. They should also provide the supporting papers as evidence of state by state collection waste as per EPR target. The half yearly progress report has to be submitted within 15 days after the end of the relevant half year period. The second document that needs to be submitted is the sales details submission. The applicant should also submit these sales details to State Pollution Control Board or Pollution Control Committee. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And for more updates, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.